We introduce you our mobile app, Swift Emergency Alert, C. What is C? Our mobile app. C is a modern fire emergency alert system that allows quick alerts of emergency, increasing the accuracy of the information needed and reducing the cost of supplying these information. Ever so often we have experienced numerous fire disruption in SPG causing thousands of dollars in damages, including loss of properties and even lives. Why do we need this app? Currently, the fire department doesn't have an emergency line. As a result of this, the means of contacting the fire department is very much unknown to society. It also requires mobile credit for contacting the fire department. Revealed in our interview with Corporal Bowens, he stated, Sometimes the caller doesn't even have enough credit to supply the relevant information needed for the fire department. See, however, address these problems by allowing a much faster, cheaper, and more accurate means of contacting the fire department. With the use of Google mapping technology, with the click of a button or buttons, the recall information such as caller exact location, fire type, and fire level would be sent to the fire department. C eliminates the use of mobile credit while introducing the use of mobile data or Wi-Fi, which is a much effective method. With the use of with the use of a highly graphical user interface, C allows users to interact with buttons and menus to transfer this information. C is however C is however C can however run on any platform which includes Android, iOS, and even BlackBerry. <laughs> As we seek to advance and enhance our fire and rescue department, the implementation of this new system would greatly assist the fire department by allowing them to respond more quickly to emergencies with the availability of accurate information in much quicker time. They would be able to easily locate fires and would also get more valuable information such as fire level, which would allow them to call for assistance from other fire engines if necessary. After the implementation of C, the fire and rescue department will improve greatly. With the elimination of the credit funds that is required and the unknown means of contacting the fire department, residents will be more at ease knowing that in the case of a fire, help will be on their way with just a click of a button. Also with the decrease of the response time by the fire department. We thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You spoke a lot about the end user entering the data. What or how and is the fire department going to be using or able to interact with this information? Well, the fire department would have a computer application that would be running online on their computer. Upon the report of a fire, they receive the fire location directly on their map, also the fire type and the fire level. The fire department, <coughs> the person in the office would also supply the information to the persons on the ground, which would allow them to find the area more quickly and also which will allow them to call for backup from the engine at the airport if it's necessary. Um, you mentioned that they did not have a hotline, a telephone line. Did you find out why? Upon our interview at the fire department with Mr. Carpel Bowens, it was revealed that the means of contacting the fire department was by a mobile number and not a hotline. No, but the fire well, well, department yeah. lies with the police who utilizes 911. <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> That's the reason I'm asking why. It was not really revealed why, but he told us that the means that was available. Right, was I got that. I got that. Because my reason is, the reason I'm asking that is, 
what guarantee do you have that the department that cannot get its own hotline? I'm going to use the word cannot, right? Would be able to access internet in this level of technology well, and funds. Well, I think because the fire department and the police come as one, and most people know that 911 is uh, also the, pol is the police. They think that, okay, it's much more easier, so they just go along with the 911. My, my, I don't want to make a comment on that. Ask the question, but been asked already. Uh, in, in a certain way. Could you not have the fire department be equipped with a voice hotline, which then becomes a free call to anybody who wants to call it? What is, what is the difficulty there? I'll just answer the question for the time's sake, sorry. Well, actually, it can be implemented, but the, Mr. Carper Boyce also, also mentioned that... This part of the is the... the sorry. What is it, it was also mentioned that sometimes the, the car is not even sorting as to where they are located. Sometimes the information that they reveal is not even that accurate. Okay. What is required on the side of the, the fire department? No, go ahead, no, go ahead. No, what is required on the side of the fire department? Well, they need um, a computer readily available on the internet so that uh, when a fire report has been done, that they will receive it. The caller also, also knows if the fire department has received this because they are given the option of picking the response so that the caller will know, yes, the fire department is on their way. You mentioned that it would not use a mobile credit, but it would use mobile data. Or oh, Wi Fi. Right. <laughs> yeah, but it would not need mobile credit. So it, it's bringing back to my basic thing. Don't I need mobile credit for mobile data? Well, sometimes you don't have data that going last longer than, okay, once you have the data, it's always on your phone, but the credit sometimes run out during the call. And thanks to NTRC, Wi-Fi is almost everywhere in Vincent and did, did, you, did you speak to at least the providers to find out how can GPS location be, be given? Yes. It's enough to say you just get GPS location. How you plan to, to get that? And transmit the track. The coordinates of the user. user location is being sent so that the computer application can now process this and determine exactly where he is located. Thank you, the innovative fire.